we informed Kenyans that for the first month or so, we were going to be engaging in awareness creation, monitoring and surveillance activities. We have done that quite effectively and therefore six weeks down the line I can report that uh, now we are officially moving and we have done that this week into the compliance and enforcement phase. I informed Kenyans before that our officers will be identifying themselves, they will be in uniform and all that. Going forward, our officers are undercover now and therefore if you are using plastic, you can expect that uh, any person that is dealing with you or shopping from you could be a NEMA inspector or even an officer who is a gazetted inspector from a lead agency because we have gazetted many inspectors who may not necessarily be NEMA staff. We have had um, arrests in Bomet two days ago. Twelve people were arrested in Bomet. Eleven people were arrested in Mombasa two days ago. Three people were arrested in Embu and Runyenges. People have been arrested in Masabit. We have arrested people in Nairobi, uh, the major one being the manufacturer that was arrested at, uh, two nights ago at 3 a.m., who was manufacturing flat bags, uh, which are not allowed. Uh, uh, by and large, those are the ones who have been uh, punished or released by courts. In court, and also for us, the crimes are disproportional. But I compare uh, a manufacturer who is doing a ton of plastic, and then Mamamboga, or you who will take one plastic bag from Mamamboga, Mamamboga who has 10 to sell, a distributor who has, uh, a retailer who has uh, half a ton, and a distributor who has a ton. So we have to put proportionality so that the weight of the crime depends on that uh, amount that you're having. So that is the principle of proportionality. You've seen it in being used in court. Some people have been let go and warned. Others have been fined. And yet those like manufacturers and distributors that we have, the cases are ongoing and we expect hefty fines uh, according to the law.